How does a city balance the need for urban construction with the responsibility of preserving its history? It is a problem that has plagued nearly every famous cultural city in the world. But in Beijing, a sprawling metropolis with a history of more than 800 years and a population of 21 million, city planners are exploring their own unique solutions to this unenviable problem. In the center of Beijing lies Chenmen East District, a typical traditional dwelling that epitomizes Beijing's urban residential community. Just a few years ago, it resembled a rundown, impoverished urban village. But thanks to a number of renovation projects, the area is being given a new lease of life. For over 600 years, Beijing has been the capital city of China, and much of its ancient history can still be seen today. But for urban architects and city planners, it is the distribution of these buildings which makes it one of the best examples of urban planning in ancient China. The renowned American architect Edmund N. Bacon has referred to it as the single greatest work by man on the Earth's surface. Since implementing its reform and opening up policy in 1978, China's urbanization process has accelerated at an unprecedented rate. Over the past 40 years, the permanent residential population of Beijing has grown from 8.7 million to more than 21 million, making it the eighth most densely populated city in the world. With a steep rise in population, problems such as illegal construction, narrow lanes and traffic congestion are starting to plague the city. Despite its undoubted beauty, the old city in Beijing is becoming increasingly unlivable. For veteran Hutong residents like Zhu Maojin, who have spent most of their lives in Chenmen East District, growing up in its narrow alleyways has been a unique and ever-changing experience. In order to improve residents' living standards, whilst also protect cultural relics and ancient buildings, Beijing has been running a neighborhood renovation program in recent years. 在零八年的时候呢，这边进行了大规模的改造，其中就包括地面的改造，改成了透水砖。一七年的时候又进一步改造，完全是花岗岩的石材，很结实，也不存在不就不存在什么坑洼不平的问题了。呃，零八年的时
Dong Ya Hong, currently runs a chic hotel on the newly renovated street. Having previously worked in five-star hotels, such as the Grand Hyatt Beijing, Dong was drawn to a new establishment thanks to the Hutong's charming beauty and distinctive history. This West Damo Chang Street has now become a happening place full of art galleries, coffee shops and modern apartment buildings. Makers and artists from all over the world have settled in the area, bringing a unique buzz to this old neighbourhood. For fashion designers like Catherine, it's become the perfect place to set up shop. You can see this, that's the fabric which brought me to Beijing 20 mm -hmm. years ago. 20 years ago? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So this is the Xiang Yun Cha, or how I call it, tea silk. Mm -hmm. You can recognize it through these two coloured sides. Uh, why did you set up, set up your um, boutique here in, in Beijing? In 95, in the Hutongs, yeah, mm -hmm. it's here we are only for even not two years. Is there something about Hutong life that you think is kind of special? Of course, here it's... It's so calm. You can see quite a few people grew up here and are still living here. So in the summer, they are sitting in the hutongs and the kids have a place where they can play, running around and the neighbors coming by and they know each other <laughs> forever. Oh, yeah. So that's really, oh, that's, nice. that's really something very nice and such a, because it's like a fixed point. I mean, it's the very different from the life of Beijing you would think of. Beijing is a thousand-year-old ancient capital that has witnessed the vicissitudes of history, but is one that now showcases the new face of China's development, providing an international backdrop where both Eastern and Western civilizations meet and mingle. Obviously very important for each civilization or each culture to try to maintain an attitude of openness and to learn from best, like sometimes we say best practices, but also best values. Like London, Paris and Athens, Beijing is an iconic capital city. How to protect the cultural elements whilst reinvigorating them is a challenge city planners will have to face for years to come. But perhaps the renovation in the old parts of Beijing can offer some answers for other places to learn from. <laughs>